hello student so let us start our tutorial so in this tutorial we will start uh, the introduction of this unit name of this unit is input output organization so let us have a look uh, uh, which topics we are going to cover uh, throughout this uh, play uh, series of videos so uh, we will start with the peripheral device then we will discuss the input output interface then asynchronous data transfer then mode of transfer then priority interrupt then direct memory access then input output processor and then serial communication so uh, let us start with the peripheral devices okay so this is introductory video so in video uh, in this video we will uh, have some uh, introduction to the input output devices okay so uh, the devices which are not part of cpu okay uh, it is known as the peripheral so normally uh, part of cpu means it is considered as a cu correct uh, then alu and then memory okay so except this whatever components we are using okay all those component will be treated as a input output device now uh, any device can be categorized into two device uh, either it is uh, input device or it is uh, output device okay or uh, it can work as a input output both so let's have a look at the some of the devices for example uh, secondary memory okay so it can be treated as a input output device uh, then a flash drive okay or in normal term pen drive okay where we are using uh, which we are using for storing the data so which will work as input as well as output uh, now which are the input device for example keyboard okay then next is uh, mouse then scanner then next is uh, you can say um, writing pad which are the output device let's say monitor printer then uh, plotter then uh, we can say speaker so these are the output device normally uh, oh, first question why uh, what is need of these peripheral devices why uh, why we require these devices now we know that uh, see computers are built to perform the computation okay but uh, it, they cannot perform computation by their own okay so we have to provide them instruction and data so that instruction and data uh, it can be uh, provided in form of program okay so if you want to write program then uh, we have to use the input devices like keyboard okay let's say if we want to uh, use a visual device for example i uh, we want we, uh, right now we are using a cursor okay so whatever movement i will make in uh, make using mouse then it will be reflected so uh, in that case also the to give the input to system uh, we will use this uh, input device okay and uh, output device so most of time output devices are uh, used to show the uh, process information or process data okay so uh, for example monitor monitor is used to display the uh, data user, user understandable format okay then printer printer is used to print uh, something on page then plotter plotter is used to uh, uh, print some larger data like city map or area map likewise speaker speaker is used for uh, multimedia output okay so uh, similarly uh, the device which will work as input output both uh, then uh, hard drive is there then flash drive is there okay why we are considering hard drive because whenever we are retrieving any uh, data which is not available inside the primary memory then it will result into input output operation okay i operation so that's the reason that we are considering hard drive as a input output device and flash drive means pen drive which will work as a input device as well as output device means from uh, that we can receive data as well as we can send data so data transfer operation will take place normally uh, this uh, input devices whatever uh, 
are used okay so uh, they are used to uh, convert some uh, human uh, they are used to convert input human input into uh, computer understandable format okay so uh, this will convert the uh, human input to computer understandable format output device reverse of this they are used to convert uh, computer format to human understandable format clear so this uh, devices are used to convert the computer format means binary format into human understandable format so whatever output let's say cursor movement we are using so it is being manipulated by cpu in binary format okay but uh, it will be converted into human understandable format so uh, then there is a hard disk and flash drive it is also known as magnetic tape or, or magnetic platter so uh, then floppy drive will also part of this category which will work as an input as well as output device so normally this kind of devices are known as a data transfer device okay which are used to transfer the data from one place to another place so in uh, introduction we will keep up to this in next video we will start our discussion with the interface okay so thank you